Now, what everyone's talking about right now is that the penny is gone, gone bye-bye. And then when I say change, you know, they're, they were saying that the penny itself, the penny itself uh, costs, I think they said, 3.2 cents per penny to make. This is the last minted penny ever made or will be made uh, as of 2025. Now, that they might change the rules later on, which is fine by me, but for now, uh, it makes sense to stop producing pennies. Because after 230 years, we are finally saying goodbye to the penny. The penny has been officially retired. Uh, it's truly a historic moment. I'm gonna show you the pennies that we're talking about right here. These were the final pennies that were struck this afternoon in Philadelphia at the U.S. Mint here in the city of Brotherly Love. Five final pennies, truly the end of an era. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how this process happened and also why the Trump administration decided to do this. First, the reasoning. Basically, the Trump administration says that the American taxpayers have been shortchanged. They said that it's actually costing triple the amount to make the penny than it did a decade. H hence, I said the 3.2. So I was pretty on target with that one. Ago, but of course, the use and demand of pennies has since plummeted. Not bad. But it hasn't been all without challenge because retailers are now faced with trying to decide what exactly they're going to do here. Are they going to round up to the nearest nickel? Are they going to round down to the nearest nickel? Uh, a lot of challenges and things to still iron out. But the administration wants to be clear, pennies still legal tender. Do not throw them out. You can still spend them. You can still roll them up and collect them. Are they? Are they going to be worth more? But when I saw the sign and it said, you know, if you're paying for cash from one cent to two, like if your total is $20 and one cents from one to four cents, they're going to round back to the, the zero, right? The round up is if it's above five, of course, you got, a, you got the nickel there. Um, but from six to nine, if it ends on that, then it rounds up to 10 or does it round back to five? See, that's where it's kind of weird. Someone's going to lose money somewhere, whether it's coming out of your pocket or coming out of the retailer's pocket. Someone's going to lose money somewhere. Or do we start pricing items? Here's, a, here's another thing that to make everything easier <laughs> to add more complex to the chaos is do we start pricing our stuff based on it coming out to the, the the zeros and fives at the end of that so what is the sales tax on that you tell me shout at your radios or whatever <laughs> we're gonna have to start pricing our items that way are we because either way someone's losing whether it's the government which they're not gonna do or is it going to be the the customer the consumer the you the you out there that's gonna have to have that little one cent thing